are talking Cajun Fried Werewolf. The man behind this one is director, writer, producer, actor, John Derek Cooper. And this is a low budget, and I mean low, low budget B-movie horror movie that will kind of take you back to the days of drive-in cinema. And I think that's actually what it's meant to be kind of inspired by. We even have real changes, you know, grain on the film, that sort of thing. The story focuses on this small uh, Louisiana town in the States, which is plagued by not one but two monsters, them being, of course, a werewolf, as you'd probably expect from the title, and also a Bigfoot. The mayor decides he's had enough of these two monsters running around and hires a hunter, along with a cryptozoologist who use their combined talents to try and track down these two monsters. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie to find out. So disclaimer before we go any further, this is a very low budget, almost amateur film. So if you like any type of production value, then you may want to skip this one. But if you are a fan of B-movies, let's discuss what works first of all. I actually thought there were some quite funny moments in this movie. For example, and one subtle joke that I'll just say here, the police, when they refer to shooting the werewolf, they have to go, oh, we'll have to use the expensive ammo, meaning obviously silver bullets, which I thought was just like, a quite a fun way of saying it and almost puts a kind of like oh, the price of having to shoot werewolves basically because it's expensive ammo. I just thought it was a neat little line here. There's a couple of lines like that that are just kind of just a little bit fun and almost fairly clever I would say. There are also a, a couple of like funny visual gags as well. For example the first time we see the werewolf and the Bigfoot meet they fight and they're both being shot at by uh, these kind of two hunters and they just kind of just look at each other, these two creatures kind of shrug at each other and then go off and attack these hunters. I just thought it was a quite a funny gag. Um, I also quite like the fact that they actually use regional appropriate names for these monsters, like the, the werewolf, they call it the Lugaru, and um, the, the, the Bigfoot, they call it a skunk ape and things like that. And they had look, and these are actual kind of like uh, little versions of kind of werewolves and Bigfoots that are, you know, legendary around that kind of part of the world. So I thought it was quite good to have a, you know, uh, at least a proper nod to the actual myths that are appropriate to the area. And like I said, there are a couple of fun touches in regards to some of the uh, the kind of cheesiness of the kind of B-movie drive-in type films that you kind of got of yesteryear, things like that. I thought it was kind of a, a, a quite a nice kind of touch. Uh, maybe, OK, let's do about what doesn't work here. So as I've mentioned, this is an ultra-low budget film, and the I feel the most discerning movie fan will, will, will be put off by its utter cheapness. Uh, I, and I'll go on record by saying this is probably the cheapest werewolf suit I've ever, ever seen on screen. It, it literally is, and the same thing with a Bigfoot. It's literally a gorilla suit, but with a kind of a wolf mask. And the Bigfoot is literally a gorilla suit. They just kind of made the eyes glow and things like that. And talking of glowing, uh, there's lots of kind of like After Effects style digital effects that are added to this movie that are, I guess, meant to be silly, but it's so, you know, it's so OTT sometimes, explosions and, and kind of like, you know, muzzle flashes and things like that. And even sound effects where people are punching, you'll think you'll be forgiven for thinking you're playing Street Fighter and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a lot of OTT cheesiness as well. Um, and, you know, it, it kind of revels in its b moviness We have like, our, really our only female character just wears a bikini all the time. And actually one of the um, uh, the other characters will say, do you wear a bikini when you go uh, werewolf hunt? She's like, yeah, all right, fair enough. Uh, I think that maybe the biggest flaw for me personally, I mean, if you can kind of like, accept the movie that it's just going to be a, a, you know, a low budget amateur sort of movie, you know, fair enough. But... Um, the movie really, it's not a long movie, but it really lags in the middle. There's a huge, long training montage here. Uh, and, and the director, I feel, likes to show off that he kind of, like, knows a bit about martial arts. And there's a huge, overly long kind of martial arts uh, training montage showing various punching and sword fights, things like this. And it just seems to go on forever. And it really sags because the, the beginning of the movie, with when we see this kind of these first two monsters, it's silly, but it's kind of fun. But man, do you kind of like bomb out of your interest after this? And it never really kind of picks up again. I have to say, obviously, we do have encounters again towards the end of the movie, but 
you've kind of checked out at that point because unfortunately the movie is such a low budget. Um, you know, it, it needs to do a lot of work to kind of keep it going. So, yeah, I mean, the, the whole thing also, for, for, I think for most audiences, let's just be honest, I don't think they're going to appreciate such a low budget film. I know there are those among us who don't mind the low budget film for what it is. And, a one, and we're talking like made for probably a few thousand dollars, literally. Um, but I feel for most audiences, this is probably going to be one to miss. But one or two of you may still enjoy it for its kind of obvious cheesiness. I can't realistically give this movie a particularly high rating because it's, it's you know, it's not a good film. Although there are a couple of elements. I did get a smile on my face at least a few times within that movie. So I'll give it a 3 out of 10, which I think, to be honest with you, is probably the highest mark this movie will get. Uh, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.